All right, Jeremy, when your Black Belt Broker Team coming at you with another Real Talk Thursday. This is super important and also terribly annoying. Hazard insurance. Right, if you've owned your home for even just a couple of years, you probably, the house probably has a value that is significantly higher than what you have it insured for, right? Well, what's the uh, plus of this? The plus is you're paying less money for your insurance. The minus is if your house is destroyed for whatever reason, you will get less money than its value is and you'll get less money than what we can rebuild it for right now. Right now, with uh, cost of materials being so, so, so expensive and the lack of labor and all those things. Rebuilding a property is the extremely expensive, probably the highest it's ever been and the most difficult to accomplish it's ever been. So if your house is destroyed and you get, have to get a new one, it is so expensive to rebuild that property. You are almost for sure underinsured on that property. That's bad. So then you have two options, right? When, you, when your house is, let's say, destroyed by a fire, you can take money from the insurance and then they uh, basically get the property or you get the money and then you sell the land for whatever its value is, that kind of a thing, right? Does that make sense? You get the money from the insurance and then you don't get to rebuild when you can with that money, but you don't usually rebuild, you just take the money and you sell the land. That's very common in these situations. People buy something else and they live somewhere else. Cool, right? The problem is, is you don't actually get your full insured value with most policies. Let's say you're insured for $300,000 rebuild. Well, if you don't rebuild, maybe you get two thirds of that. Not enough to really buy something else. Right? Yeah, maybe some money down, it's better than nothing, of course. So, what's the solution? Call your insurance provider, call your realtor, find out what the value of your property is and insure it for that value, right? Insure your property for its actual value. Drawback is you're gonna pay a lot more for that insurance in your mortgage. You're gonna to have to escrow for more money, probably a lot more money, and then you're covered. So it's a gamble. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. But if your house is destroyed, you might not get enough to actually rebuild. You may have to just use that money to buy something else. You may be very, very sad and very angry with your insurer, but there's nothing they can do about it. Your policy is your policy. You get to choose what it is. So if you have questions about that, call us up, right? Black Belt Broker Team, Jeremy Wynia, we've got lots of people we can help you out, get this figured out, what your home is valued at, so that you can insure it for enough. If you have other questions or concerns, of course, let us know. If you like these videos, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notifications, right? Help us with the algorithm so more people see it, because this stuff is important, right? If you don't know these things, they can come to bite you in the behind and it's going to be very sad and we won't be saying we told you so, but we told you so. We'll catch you on the next one.